very good morning dear students students of class 9 and class 10 welcome once again to english grammar class wherein we have completed our tenses in all the previous classes i remember more than 3 to 4 classes we have spent towards completion of tenses i think by this time you must have learned exactly how many tenses are there in which forms in what pretext those tenses are to be used so all these things you are well aware now and structures if you remember the structures and it would be very easy for all the students you know to uh, develop a sentence compose a sentence okay according to the requirement so the tenses will give us a knowledge how to use and communicate appropriately okay the idea what the speaker wants to express that's what is the main purpose of a tense now that we have learned i hope all must have maintained maintaining a very good notes i still recommend all of you to maintain good notes okay for grammar you need to keep a separate note so that you can you know you can uh, uh, every time whenever you have a doubt you can refer to it and uh, you know you can remember these things and put it in practice what i what i strongly advise all the children is nothing but you know you need to put this grammar concept whatever we are learning okay uh, exactly these tenses forms then afterwards the articles uh, use properly okay in your day to day language so that it be more effective that's what is the advice most of the grammarians give and that's how you can improve your english language so now uh today's session is very simple would like to just give you some you know um very 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 minimal concept of english grammar wherein most of the students you are aware of it but exactly under what category they fall we do not know so i think this is day 16 session 16th grammar session okay uh, wherein we are going to cite upon the today's concept is on b forms just to make you understand okay there is one concept in english grammar it is called b forms if you observe here there is b b e b forms it also called as helping words they are also called as auxiliary verbs okay so let us see i have already written it on the board so that you can just cite upon the board and just try to have a look at and see and try to learn and remember something now these b forms are basically categorized into two categories okay these b forms classifications into two according to the tense now these b forms generally we make use in our sentences we make use in our sentences situationally based on the tense what is the tense tense is time okay i many a times i am telling you this tense is nothing but all about the study of verb the occurrence of verb okay in different time in different point of time on different period of time okay maybe it refers to the present time or the past uh, past time or the future time so the entire study about this time is nothing but tense okay now to remember how this tense plays you know how to how this tense plays its role as i said it's very important now these b forms are again related to the tense okay since they are used mostly before the main verbs the b forms are mostly used before the main verb okay the occurrence of the b forms are mostly found before the main verbs okay the main verbs or action verbs whatever you say regular verbs irregular verbs now these b forms are as i said they are classified into two the present tense b forms as well as past tense b forms and my dear students please please mind it please learn it now this be the usage the usage of the b forms are based they are depended on the subject the the occurrence of these b forms whether it in the present tense or in the past tense the b forms occurrence of the b forms in the present tense or occurrence of the b forms in the past tense are mostly based on the subject now when i when i when i talk about subject what is it it's a it's a person the first subject is the first person the second subject the second person okay in the same way the third subject is the third person third subject is third person 
So first subject is I, as you all know, singular. Okay, and uh, second subject, the first sub the first subject I. What is plural form V? What is plural form V? Okay, now for V also, right? That is the first uh, the the first subject in plural form. Okay, now coming to the second subject. What is the second subject U? The second subject U. In, in singular it is you in singular form it is you as well as in the plural form we again use the word you there is no discrimination of you okay you is used uh, for singular to number the singular you is used again to number the plural okay to name the plural so for you for you and we for you and we okay for the subjects like you and we. V is actually the first subject plural form and you is the second subject singular and plural form. Okay. Where the helping verb is like this. Now that is the second subject. What is third subject? The third subject is singular he. The third subject singular is he and she. The third subject singular is he or she. Okay. If it is a masculine gender, he. If it is a feminine gender, it is she. Okay, that is that is the third subject. Hope now you are understanding it. The first subject is I. Okay, singular. V is the first subject plural. The second subject is you. In singular form it is you. In plural form also it is you. And coming to third subject. Third subject singular is could be he or she. Okay, he or she. What are actually these things? Their pronouns. Their personal pronouns. Their pronouns. Okay, he or she. That is a third subject pronoun. And plural singulars. Plural form. What is plural? If you sign on the board, they. Now, they is the third subject plural. They is the third subject plural. I is the first subject. You is the second subject. He or she, the third subject singular. They is the third subject plural. Okay. Now, if you look at there, now am. If you see the first B form is am. Am. So when you, you uh, am is something which is a and m. The pronunciation of is am. But in a, in a sentence, in a sentence you say am. Am. I'm going out. I'm coming down. I'm a person. Okay. And a hard-working guy like that so it, 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 it gives a short pronunciation M so I am okay and normally it it is used in the present tense form whenever you relate you want to relate am with I the first subject then mostly it refers to the present tense I am going could be present continuous or okay I, I am writing okay I'm eating okay so like that so when normally am is used it consequently is followed by a present continuous v4 form okay when am occurs normally the next consecutive verb it has to be a v4 form that is continuous in form walking dr talking drinking eating sleeping okay like that now for am the past tense of b form of am is was okay i was i was right I was going down, I was eating, okay, like that, was. So, am is the B form, present tense, and its past tense is was. Now, coming to you, you is here, is are, okay, for normally second subject you, the plural form, okay, we, we go with are, okay, in the present tense, are, and the past tense of are is were, are, it is, you should not pronounce it as are, it is not are, it is are. Okay, you need to roll the sound of R, R and ver, R and ver. We can repeat after me, right? You are going out, you are coming with me, you are seeing this picture. So like that, it has to be you are. And this is ver, ver, you were coming, you were going, you were drawing the picture. Okay, you were drawing the picture, they were drawing the picture. So, were. Now, present tense. Present tense helping verb are. And 
past tense of it is were okay were and were now coming to the third subject dear students coming to the third subject it is he or she he or she now in the present form what it takes is he is he is playing a match he is watching a video he is watching cricket he is and she is she is doing her work she is doing her work okay it is so he she and you can relate even to things also it it the things also it okay third subject it when you relate to some objects to some non living things it has to be referred with it so he she and it is okay and past tense of is is again your was past tense of is is was was okay right she was he was it was nice okay she was she was going out i saw her she was going out so was is past tense is was and the next third subject plural it is they third subject plural it is they so for they normally the helping verb be form to be used is here are and past tense of it is were okay they are and they were okay children it has to be to be used as they are and they were okay let us not pronounce in a blunt manner saying they are now normally we are used to speak used to pronounce the word like are were okay r sound should not it should be r should be rolled up okay it should be rolled in right they are and they were they are and they were the way i am pronouncing it you can observe me and try to pronounce in the same manner whenever you try to speak in english okay they are and they were now these are all together right it they all together these b forms are eight in number all together the b forms are eight in number and the other b forms are like being and being when i want to say continuous then it has to be in being and being okay in the progressive manner when you want to when you want to use a sentence to denote the verb in a continuous form it is being being and being even these two words also are been used to refer okay in a sentence so they also fall under the category of being and being so all together we have eight b forms all together we have eight b forms which normally used according to the situation of the sentence in the present tense as well as in the past tense forms okay now nextly if you observe here down the board dear students down the board if you observe here there are other other set of there is another set of helping verbs which are normally used in perfect tenses in perfect tenses in all the perfect tenses okay we know in each basic tense there is a present perfect present tense present perfect is there in past tense past perfect is there in future future perfect is there okay so in all the perfect tenses normally we make use of has okay when it is when the subject is singular has when the subject is plural have okay i repeat again when the subject is singular has and plural have in the present in the perfect forms in the perfect tenses has and haves are mostly used in the perfect tenses and the past tense of it is had the past tense of it is had okay so this is what is the explanation of b forms okay this session day 16 session dear students once again giving you the clarity you know them you are aware of them but exactly under what under what category okay of grammar this falls you are not known so now i made it clear now these b forms come under okay in this category now if you look at the other side of the board right there is another classification of verbs dear students this is also a very simple concept where you can easily understand if you observe, observe the board here right the verbs are again further classified okay further classified into two they are called modal verbs and they are also called 
auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs are helping verbs auxiliary verbs are helping verbs which are there already almost all those eight forms are auxiliary verbs okay now what are they am is was and were now children you must be thinking sir what is this why these modal verbs and why these auxiliary verbs in what manner normally all these point number one to be noted point number one to be noted all the auxiliary verbs are used before the main verbs okay because these auxiliary verbs fall before the main verbs the occurrence of these auxiliary verbs are before the main verbs okay that's the reason they are called helping verbs okay that's the reason they are called helping verbs for example am going is walking was playing were dancing were dancing so all these verbs right auxiliary verbs are are used before the main verbs in the sentence in the sentence now that's the reason this is one classification of auxiliary verbs now the second classification if you see the other classification what is the title it is called modal verbs it's called modal verbs now modal verbs are again there five in number can may shall will and must okay i repeat again in the present tense form these are all the order of these which i am reading are under the present tense form can may shall will and must the past tense of them can is could can is could may is might shall past tense is should will past tense is would must past tense is ought must ought uh, past tense is ought now i will also tell you the main condition of using this modal verbs whenever we use sentences to seek permissions whenever you wanted to seek a permission whenever you wanted to express the possibility okay possibility of occurrence of the verb in the future okay possibility of occurrence of the verb in the future i could have done this nicely i could have done this possibility okay he would have played very nicely okay he would have played well so the possibility of the future expecting in the present normally these modal verbs are used please do remember dear children right in what circumstance we use these modal verbs are modal verbs are mostly used whenever you want to seek permissions when you wanted to you know express when you wanted to express the possibility of it okay the certainty of it certainty of the action certainty of the verb okay in the tenses in the sentences then we make use of this modal verbs that's what is the use of this modal verbs so today's session is mostly on today's session is mostly on b forms very simple they are very simple you must have understood it okay only you are you are doing it you are using it whenever you are building an answer whenever you are writing answer in english subject or any other subject you are making use of all these words you are making use of all these words but exactly what are their names what are their names it's b forms their names are b forms the b forms of the present tense they are of this order the b forms of the past tense they are of this order all together they are eight in number and was are were is okay is and been and being been and being right and that is one aspect the second aspect is we also have helping verbs being used in the perfect tenses in the perfect tenses perfect tenses present tense present perfect is there in past tense past perfect is there in future tense future perfect is there so has haves and has will have like that also it the, they are used they are used has and have are the present forms of the perfect tenses had for has it is past tense is had and for have also the past tense is had now the second classification once again i am giving you the recapitulation verbs are again another classification of verbs are modal verbs and auxiliary verbs now auxiliary verbs are the same helping verbs are b forms am is was were okay now these are all the auxiliary verbs 
they what is the where do they occur they occur before the main verb in a sentence where do they occur the auxiliary verbs the helping verbs occur before the main verb in a sentence that's the point now coming to the models okay the model verbs are there now generally what what is the usage what's the role of these model verbs we make use of these model verbs whenever we use a sentence which seeks permission whenever we use sentence we express certainty whenever we we use a sentence we we, we state a sentence which express possibility okay certainty possibility in the, those aspects in those parameters normally we make use of this model verbs which are again present and past categorized can is a present could i can do it he could do it may and might okay may and might and shall and should will and would must and ought these are the the next classification of verbs normally we make use of sentences so day 16 day 16 dear students day 16 english grammar session is covered on b forms i request all of you to please note them note them down you please make a note of these b forms and try to whatever explaining you can play as i told you since it is a youtube link you can play our class as many times as possible to remember okay so that's all from my side for today's session thank you children have a wonderful day